So some big time news, also shocking news coming out of Baltimore early this morning. Good morning to everybody. We ain't done a video this early in a long time. But Adam Schefter reporter, he said four-time Pro Bowl running back Dalvin Cook now has been signed to the Ravens 53-man roster and will play in Saturday's AFC Divisional Playoff game versus the Texans. So Dalvin Cook, which I'm surprised by this move, I really am, he has been added to the 53-man roster. But why is this significant? Why is this even shocking? Well, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But something that isn't shocking is how fire these Heart of the City Run to Vegas hoodies are. And what's even more or less shocking is that they're taking care of y'all. So you can go to the link in the description and use code ENGRAVEN to get 20% off your order. So if you want to get one for yourself, get one for your family, get one for your friend, get one for everybody, go to the link in the description and handle that, man. And use code ENGRAVEN for 20% off. That's a lot. Now, back to Dalvin Cook. Um, I'm shocked by this move because the Baltimore Ravens, they put Pepe Williams on injury reserve. Um, they also released Melvin Gordon. Um, so they had a couple of spots uh, on the roster that were opened up. They had also released uh, Laquan Treadwell the other day as well. So they had three roster spots that were sitting there open for the taking, but they have four players that could possibly have been added to the roster. One is Dalvin Cook, one is Mark Andrews, one is Ardarius Washington, and one is Devin DuVernay. So what I figured was going to happen with Dalvin Cook, especially because he was on a practice squad, I figured they would just call him up for the games. They'd be like, oh, good. well, Dalvin Cook, you'll, you'll just be on a practice squad for the playoffs. We'll call you up for the games, and that'll be that. Because that allows you to have so much more flexibility uh, when you are moving through the season. Well, in this case, the postseason. But they decided, you know what? No, we're going to use a roster spot on Dalvin Cook. And I'm confused by that. I, I'm not understanding where it's going. I guess we'll find out in the coming days. Because I, I figured like one of those other three guys or those other three guys would take those other three roster spots. Uh, because, again, with Dalvin Cook, you had him. He, he was set. And even with the practice squad rules, if you felt like, oh, man, somebody might try to steal him off our practice squad, you could protect them. So I'm not sure why. I'm not complaining that they added him to the, the active roster, but it just was a move that surprised me, and I, I don't understand exactly why. So I'm sure y'all in the comment section will be able to explain it, but I'm not sure exactly why they did that. Uh, with Mark Andrews, he was a full participant in yesterday's practice. So, I mean, it's, we all figure that it's, it's leading up to him being activated, being put on the roster officially, him taking one of those two spots that remain. Uh, so that, I think that's what it's looking like. Um, it hasn't been officially said yet, uh, and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll probably be seeing y'all later on when that, uh, that announcement is made official, but we won't know till we know. But Mark Andrews, with him being a full participant, and I know he said it yesterday, like, oh, uh, it, it depends on how I feel if I go on Saturday or not. You know you feel good. You know you about to play on Saturday, Mark Andrews. You ain't got to give us the whole um, the, the, the politically correct answer and whatnot. We know you want to play. We know you you probably going to play, Mark. So we'll see you soon. But it's not official yet. Uh, but that other roster spot um, with Tylen Wallace <coughs> still not practicing. I mean, you figure Devin DuVernay, he's been back uh, for a couple of weeks. He, he has been designated to return for a couple of weeks. Excuse me. So you figure that spot will go to Devin DuVernay. Chris Horton came out yesterday and he talked about it. He said how with Devin DuVernay, he's going to get his role back. Uh, when he's healthy so <laughs> yeah he's been practicing so it looks like that returner role is going to go back to him and like we talked about uh, last night in the video uh, with Devin DuVernay just the, the timing the timing is crazy the, the timing is insane because how, how does that happen to where uh, you you got hurt so you got put on injury reserve so you was out for about four weeks he's out for about a month Tylen Wallace came in uh, filled your role, got the literally on his first punt return, got a game winning touchdown against the Rams. So then some time passes, you get healthy, and when you're healthy, then Tylen Wallace he ends up being hurt. And I don't even know when he got hurt. I guess it was in a Steelers game, maybe I'm not sure, but he ends up being hurt, and now you're coming back. So crazy timing for the Baltimore Ravens on special teams. But hey, shout out to Devin Duvernay. What will can't welcome him back officially because it's not officially official but again I expect him to hold that down and take uh one of those spots uh very very soon now um before we continue team keep it clean make sure you subscribe to the channel 
Uh, y'all have been doing that like crazy. We almost at 73,000 subscribers, so I appreciate y'all and all y'all support. Make sure you leave a like on the video, too, because it goes such a long way for everything. It, it, it really, really does. Now, um, Odarius Washington, that's another spot right there where there have been some question marks on, especially um, with Marlon Humphrey not looking like he's going to play in this game. Hey, maybe today, but it would have to be today. Because uh, <clears throat> maybe with Marlon Humphrey, if, if he somehow miraculously practices today, I don't really expect him to. But if he did, it would be great. But I, I just I can't seriously expect him to. He ain't practice again. He ain't played since the December 31st game against the Dolphins. Hasn't practiced since before that game. And yeah, I so yeah, we'll see. I know there have been some people saying, oh, yeah, hey, Marlon Humphrey, he's still going to play. Uh, yeah, I'm not that confident in him playing this weekend but anyway back to the secondary um Ardarius Washington he's another uh person that could get one of those two spots that remains um so the Baltimore Ravens could have even more depth in the secondary so that's something to think about right there um because right now you would have Brandon Stevens you would have Ronald Darby both who have been playing good both both of them have been playing really good this season Obviously, Brandon Stevens has been out there a lot more because he's a starter, too. Um, and Ronald Darby, when he's played, hasn't been much, but when he's played, he's played good. Uh, you have Arthur Millette. Arthur Millette has been, um, he's been tricky this season. He has some really nice moments, and he has made some really nice plays. Then he has some hiccups here and there. But, again, that's the cornerback position. That, that is the cornerback position in a nutshell. It is one of the, the toughest jobs in the NFL, especially with how, how all the rules and everything. They favor the offense like crazy. A cornerback, you can't look at a receiver the wrong way. You cannot breathe on a receiver the wrong way. Or else it'll be a 15-yard penalty. Or else it'll be defensive holding, pass interference, legal contact, something. It's a million different rules that do not go in your favor as a cornerback. It is such a tough position to play in the league. Um, but the Ravens have him. Of course, the Ravens also have Kyle Hamilton. And he, he, shout out to Kyle Hamilton. Hammy, super duper Kyle. Um, but the Baltimore Ravens, they have some other guys. Oh, they got Rocky Singh. Uh, but so they, they got some other guys that will fill in uh, for Marlon Humphrey. So while Marlon Humphrey is a huge loss, and you obviously would much rather have a Marlon Humphrey than not have a Marlon Humphrey, the Ravens are still in a situation where they should be able to get by. And again, Marlon Humphrey, he didn't play in that first Texans game, and the Ravens did find it. Uh, again, different, different Texans team way back then, but also a different Ravens team way back then now. Uh, both teams are much better than they were uh, back then. And with Mike McDonald, I am very confident in Mike McDonald, and I think you should be too, uh, that he can make the necessary adjustments, the necessary changes, and the necessary fixes uh, to get by this game without a Marlon Humphrey. So this should be a good one, y'all. This should be a good one. We're getting closer and closer to it. Um, speaking of Marlon Humphrey, today should be the last day that the Baltimore Ravens do a real full practice. Today is the last day. So if he doesn't practice today, then, yeah, that's that's probably it. And, and even still, even if he were to get just one practice under his belt, I mean, he could, he could go. Cause again, Marlon been doing this for a long time. He's been playing for a long time. So I know Harbaugh doesn't like it when a, a player only has one practice leading up to a game. But I think he could possibly make an exception if it was for somebody like a Marlon Humphrey. But. If he ain't practiced this week yet, I mean, what can we realistically expect? Because this is the last day. Again, tomorrow's going to be the walkthrough, and then Saturday's going to be the game, and then that'll be it. But anyway, thank you, be clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. I, a early morning video. Good morning to you. Hope you had your coffee. Hope you had your breakfast. If you eat breakfast, and hope whatever you're on the way to, whether you're on the way to work, whether you're on the way to school, whether you're on the way to wherever, I hope your day is going great. Uh, we got some more videos coming up with a few more other Ravens content creators on the way. So y'all be out on the lookout for that. Um, and just keep showing them love, too, because y'all have shown them a lot of love. and Y'all been showing them a lot of support. So I appreciate that. And, and they definitely uh, appreciate it. So y'all team, keep it clean. Keep doing what you've been doing. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I will see you later on.